everybody. Welcome to the Ron Line Report. This is a special preview of the 2019 Wings of Strength Chicago Pro. This is being filmed in two different places, Boston and somewhere in the United Kingdom at the Pumped Media Studios. Chris Clark behind the scenes putting this all together for us. We are joined by Giles Tiger Thomas, the king of UK bodybuilding media coverage. <laughs> and I like that. all the way from Norway, AJ. Yes. AJ, how are you guys? How are you, Giles? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling even better. Yep. It's a uh, very busy, busy day, at, uh, two days, three days at Pump Media Studios, I know. Yep. You guys uh, get a lot of filming done in, in just two days, you do all that? We've done 67 interviews in two days. <laughs> but it helps when Chicago Pro is this weekend, because that's going to be an epic show, Ron. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Tim Gardner mm -hmm. puts on excellent shows. He is a, a true uh, bodybuilding promoter at heart because he puts on every single division. Yeah. You know, women's bodybuilding is not at a lot of shows. Every Tim Gardner show has women's bodybuilding. This has every single division you could possibly dream of. Next year, they'll have wellness. But uh, we're going to focus today on the two divisions I'm most excited about, probably the most, most people are most excited about, open men's bodybuilding and 212 bodybuilding. <clears throat> so let's, let's get right to it. Uh, heavy favorites for Chicago. Uh, there's three names that come to mind. Let's start with the first guy. You can't leave out defending champion Michael Lockett. Michael is coming back. He's been pretty quiet about it, but uh, he looks he looks awesome, as always. I don't know if you saw him last year when he beat Sergio Oliva Jr. at this show, mm -hmm. but condition is just insane on this man. He has that really round, full... His muscles look like they're popping off of his body. He's a... Mm. Uh, He's probably myostatin deficient would be my medical diagnosis. But uh, AJ, we'll start with you. Michael Lockett, given the given the guys in this lineup, and we got Charles Griffin coming, we got Samson Douda coming on. Do you think Michael can hold on to his title, take this two years in a row? If he's made any improvements, yes. Okay. He needs to where did you he needs where did you see him? Where did you see him need to improve? No, but we need to see some improvements by now. Huh? He's always in great shape, great condition, but uh, Griffin. We've seen the improvements, and we just mm. talked to Matt Jensen. Mm -hmm. So he has improved. He's gone up seven pounds of muscle ah. with better conditioning mm. since the Olympia. And I just saw Samson Dauda, who's gained 14 pounds of stage weight. Mm -hmm. What, since Sunday? Since, <laughs> since, uh, the, since the Romania Pro in November. Wow. So yeah, Michael... I mean, you were there. You, you just saw Samson oh. uh, Sunday. Yeah. What? How do you rate Samson, strengths and weaknesses? So we can go first with Michael Lockett first. So Michael Lockett needs to do some improvements to keep this title. But obviously, I haven't seen the progress pictures, so it will be interesting to see. But Michael Lockett is definitely going to be in the mix. But if he's the same as last year, I don't think he'll win, no. Mm. Okay. Michael, um, do you remember last year when you interviewed him at the, the Chicago when he won and he said he dieted on pizza and uh, Chinese food? Do you remember? Yes. Yeah, uh, I mean, I stay on. I stay on top of uh, Michael's social media. I, I look at it all year round, and he's. He, it doesn't. He's always in condition. That's not. He, he doesn't put body fat on in the off season, so you know he's going to be in condition. I've. I'll be honest. I've not seen. It's difficult to tell from training posts and stuff like that to see if he's made any improvements because he is so freaky. I mean, those shoulders, the traps. He's very. Uh, I'd like to have seen his back come up, but things we don't know until we see him on stage. But um, he's going to be in condition. That's yeah. that's a given. That's an absolute given. Um, yeah. It's it's whether he's improved things like his lats, elements of his, because um, he's got a bit of disparity between the leg size, isn't he? Mm, yeah, I don't think that's what I don't think that's ever going to change. I think that was yeah. like a nerve damage thing. Yeah. We talked about it in the interview. I can't recall, but. It, it's something I don't believe he can do anything about at this point. Right, he's a he's a th right. obviously he's a threat. He's a defending champion, but this yeah. year he is he is going up against a bit of a deeper field. I mean, it was really only only Sergio that I remember that really right. gave him any hassle last year, and that was a close battle. So, mm. yeah, I think he's. Um, I mean, we're going to be talking about the other guys' names in a bit, but uh, I th I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be tough. I want to. I'd like to see some improvements. But um, it's because he looks so good all year round, it's difficult until we see him on stage. But uh, he's not going to be, he's going to be in condition. That's a given. Yeah. So you guys are both in agreement. Charles Griffin is probably your favorite to win this. Yeah. He's my yeah. favorite to win it. Yeah, he's my favorite as well. And he's, he's, he's a lot bigger than last year. 
he's he's one of these guys that has improved so fast. Um, mm. I mean, two three years ago, if you remember, um, he was eleventh place at the Olympia last year. Um, he's uh, he's won pro shows now. So for me, yeah, he, I've seen I think pic- from the side and the back, side and the back, he's bigger, thicker. He's it's just those some of those front shots. I'm not crazy about. I'm not crazy on his front door bicep. I'm not crazy on his front lat spread. I'm not crazy on his ab and thigh. But his side shots, his rear shots, I I think he's the man to beat overall. And uh, like you said, we were speaking to Matt Jensen earlier today, and uh, he is going to be a good seven, eight solid pounds heavier. Mm. And he's always, always in condition, and he's very complete. Some people have commented, based on the recent pictures Griffin has posted, it looks like most of that new mass went to his upper body, and his legs look like they're starting to to lose balance with the upper body. But Michael Lockett's legs aren't true complex either, so... (laughs) Didn't matter. Didn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I haven't seen any significant improvements in his legs, but um, yeah. I, I, does he? Did he? Was he that balanced? He was pretty balanced last year, wasn't he? Okay. Yeah. Well, Sam, Samson. Just uh, I've. This will be the first time I've seen Samson in real life. Yeah. AJ, you just saw him Sunday, and he apparently he gave Nathan a really good run for the run for the title. I wouldn't say uh, he gave him a good. It was a no, good battle, no, but it it, it, it was battle. it was a good battle, but it was okay. uh, Nathan had him. So it wasn't like, okay. but Samson, great improvements, great new mass, <clears throat> fantastic uh, vacuum, uh, great mass uh, condition. He, he doesn't have Michael Lockett or, or uh, yeah. uh, uh, Griffin's Griffin. condition. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he's going to go, uh, he's going to have a week traveling. Mm-hmm. He's going to go two days of traveling to get there. Will he, I don't think he'll bring condition he needs to, to win. Yeah. But he'll be in the first call out. Okay. Per- another another guy that's I, 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 one I'll, second. Giles, what do you uh, think? Yeah, that's personally, personally, I don't want him to do the show. Oh. I don't want him to do the show because he's doing Portugal in three weeks and he thinks he when we spoke to him uh yesterday, we he said he thought he needed about four pounds off. I think seven to eight, because was he two hundred seventy on stage? Wow. I love when Giles says well, he's gonna do it. I know we wouldn't like we we, we offered him to not do it, correct? Yeah. But he's doing it. Mm. So I'm I just know. saying the prediction. What, is, what do you think he's going to do? All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I. I don't think he's going. I don't see the point in him doing it because he needs mm. to be in sharper condition to to really do damage here, especially when you're going up against Michael Lockett, Charles Griffin, and other guys. So I don't yeah. know. Uh, if this show had been three weeks apart from the British Grand Prix, then I'd be very excited about him doing it. But having that said, I, he will be first call out. I'd be very surprised if he wasn't. Um, I, I would love to see him, even if he was just like a couple of percent sharper. The thing is, he's this is new territory, traveling and prepping. Um, but he's very enthusiastic. He's looking forward to doing it. And I think, I don't know whether he's going and expecting to win, but I think because he, he's doing this one, he's doing Vancouver, he's doing um, uh, Portugal. So he needs to really, it's whether he can sort of keep improving because his condition was okay but it needs to be sharper to really give him the best chance of success but then it's going to be it's it's a very exciting year for him anyway because he's put on so much muscle and uh yeah i'm very excited about um what he's actually bringing this year as well so his, 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 his reason it, it, to do it was to uh, let the judges uh, see him in america is what he said that that's what i was going to ask why is he doing this it seems seems like a long trip if he's already going to be doing uh, portugal and you say vancouver too yes yeah, that's a lot of traveling this guy's putting himself through. Personally, yeah. personally, I'd love to see it shut it down in just to Portugal. Who we, and then he's going to have to go up against Nathan in Portugal. So. And it's in Europe, so it's not so yeah. much traveling. And, and three so. weeks would be enough to get seven, eight pounds off and really sharpen up. Is he trying to get points for the Olympia? Uh, no. That's not what he said, no. He wants to do UK, okay. US, Canada, Europe. So he's really looking to make himself known and get his name out there. And he's, he's, I think he'll be top five. He'll be top five, even if he looks. I mean, he might not even look as good as he did last week with the travel. Because mm-hmm. you know what happens. You know what happens with these guys when they're not experienced travelers. And uh, right. but he, I, I, even if he can bring as good as what he brought with um, against Nathan at the British Grand Prix, then yeah, it's going to be exciting. But uh, yeah, I would like. Um, yeah, well, I'll be, I, he'll be top five. He'll be top five. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite Czech bodybuilders. I don't know too many Czech bodybuilders. Lukas Osladil is doing this. <laughs> so we know he's going to be in shape. That's like his trademark. He shows up shredded to the bone every time. Mm. Uh, he's somebody I never really get too excited about when I'm doing these previews. I sort of like dismiss him. And then I'm at the show. And I'm like, geez, I yeah. forgot. This guy's actually really good. Very good. You know, he's 
he looks bigger and better in person. It's probably because of the conditioning and everything than he does when you see him in pictures. He's one of those guys. In person, he is more impressive, and you see why he does as well as he does. Mm. How do you see Lucas Oslato doing at the show? Uh, personally, I saw him. He gained some new mass, it seems like. Uh, the recent Instagram, well, we can't always go by Instagram, but the recent pics I've seen of him, he's not as in condition as I've seen him before. Mm. Oh, no. And that's not something he can afford to do. Mm. Uh, maybe that picture was just a bad picture. Maybe it's bad lighting. Maybe he's going to improve. Mm -hmm. But uh, he added some new mass. If, if he can get the same condition as usually, he would be a big threat. But the pictures I've seen, he's not the same condition that I've seen him before. And if he doesn't mm. have the same condition, I don't see him fighting for the win. No, it, you know, <clears throat> I'd be worried if he's not in his usual. Because it, it shouldn't matter if you're not at the best that you've ever been. But a lot of times it seems like that's how the judges treat is This guy's off from what we know he can bring. Mm. Even if he's still sharper than most of the other guys, they'll say, Lucas is off. Yeah. And, you know, maybe punish him, but... Hope he pulls a rabbit out of his hat, Giles. Lucas is one of those guys that, like you said, you never really, you never really think of him as a threat. And then you see him on stage, and you know, like every angle, the detail, the condition, the mass. Um, I think sometimes people still see him as like this two twelve because, but he's actually, if you actually look at him, he's he's a really big guy. I remember seeing him at the Olympia last year, and he was, he didn't, he didn't get placed, and I was thinking. To look that good and not place and not really get any call outs, it must be so disheartening because he's not missing anything and he's a very, very good bodybuilder. So, and like I said, we saw myself and AJ both saw that pictures and I was thinking, is it just the light or is he not normal or is he, I don't know, maybe it was just a photo taken at a wrong time, maybe he maybe started to hold water or, but um, I, think he'll, I think he'll bring it in. I think he'll bring it in. Um, I would probably see him. I'm look now. I'm going to look for the picture now. Yeah, well, I would see. Guys, got me concerned. He's not going to. He is not, <laughs> unless he does something stupid. He's not going to be at the top five. He's going to be third. I think he's going to be around third or fourth. Look at his Instagram, Ron. What do you think? Uh, yeah. This was 14 hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say this is the lighting. It looks like uh, pretty dim lighting wherever he did this. Mm. He needs to get my photography skills. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're I'm, good at those. I'm way better at finding good light. <laughs> uh, I'd rather see. I'd like to see a back shot. Oh, okay. We see him. Yeah, his glutes are in and everything. I think he's going to be okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Griffin's much larger. Lockwood's larger. It's it's going to be it's going to be tough for him. Hmm. You know, he's won. He won the Arnold Classic Brazil a couple. He's won a bunch. He's won a few shows. Toronto. He's, when you he's, say he's, Lockett is larger, how much does Lockett usually come? Do you know around where he competes at? No. If I had to guess, I'm going to say about two forty. 240 yeah. or so two oh, he's got to be because he's he's not big, yeah he's about somewhere between five eight and five nine have you he's got to be about 240 have you ever gotta seen be. anything as amazing as when you see michael's shoulders up close mm. <laughs> those shoulders and traps do you know what? i remember taking photos i think you were t talking to him at the olympia last year at the expo and i'm like so excited when i'm like filming or taking pictures and then when you look at the pictures i'm always disappointed because it doesn't reflect just like I mean, I saw him at the Arnold Europe 2017, and he's just got this look to his muscle. And now he's got the gyno fixed as well, don't forget. Yeah. He's had yeah. it fixed because that was, I mean, he got spanked at the 2017 Arnold Europe. He was in that last call out with the guys who were just n not very good, you know, and he's like really, he's, his muscularity is it, it's second to none. I mean, it really is. But they, they absolutely penalized him for his, uh, for his gyno. So at least he's had that fixed. But so. did they, didn't it still show a little bit or is it completely fixed? Because I remember, <laughs> can you still tell? Well, yeah, he's had it fixed. I mean, he's had it, fixed. it was really bad before, but okay. he's had it done now. So. I mean, if he had it operated, if he had it surgically removed, it's, it better be gone or I'd freaking sue that doctor mm. yeah. personally. Well, it can come back. It can come back if you don't keep an eye on it. Justin Rodriguez, another guy we don't always we don't always talk a lot about him, but he's always in the mix somewhere. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm I need this guy to really prove himself to me as far as like a real threat. Yeah. yeah. Because I I've, I've been waiting for the past ever since we saw him. Jaws at the was at Arnold last year. Yeah, he took seven. Got all hyped up. He like, took. Yeah, this guy's gonna be great. He took seventh at the Arnold last year, and it was like I was like, wow, this guy is like his. This guy is gonna be something special, and then he kind of just faded as the year went on. I've mm. seen him. He's, he's had a couple of good appearances this year. What did he get earlier on? It was the Indy Pro, was it he did, and one of the Arnolds? I think he was like, but he was like around fourth, fifth. He yeah. looked good. He looked better than I expected from what I judged from the lead up photos and the run up pictures. Um, but like you said, he's one of these guys, he's not, he's kind of like 
where J- De La Rosa was until this year. He's like, mm. are you expecting more from him? You're expecting him to jump up to that next level. So it's, it's kind of now or never really for Justin because he should really be first call out in this show. He should be battling for top three. He should be battling for the win in a show like this. But mm. is he going to make top three? I honestly don't know. Uh, this is a guy you guys have both been promoting for a long time, Sibu Sisu Cotello yeah. from South Africa. The, I don't know if he's ever competed in the U.S. before. I don't believe he has. No. This pro, is his first show, pro, first pro show. Pro is this his first pro show? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he um he was he turned pro at the Sean Roden Classic uh, the end of last year, hmm. and uh, he's not wasted any time. He's going straight into this as pro debut. He was 27 years old. Um, he has had um a perforated disc. So he's had, a lot uh-huh. of, he's had a lot of issues on this prep. So one, I'm hoping that he at least can look good enough for his pro debut because here's a guy that really is, I'm going to put him in my MD column. I mean, there's a guy that is going to be, <clears throat> he could be top six Olympic before he's 30. But I just, mm. hope, I just hope his back's okay. And I hope he hasn't struggled too much to get to this show, um, mm. you know, with regards to, but I mean, it's a pro debut. So... I, I'd love to see him. I, I hope he's like in the middle in, say, the second call out. But there's a guy that just give him a couple of years. I mean, he's going to be battling it out with the Rafael Brandeos and the, um, the, you know, what's the other guys that are young, under 20, in the 20s? Quinton Aray, yeah. Quinton Aray, yeah, 24 years mm. old. These are, these, this, I mean, someone like Sibu Sisu, this is the next generation. Um, yeah. But he's, uh, he's, he's got, give him a couple of years and he's going to be something very special. I'm excited for his debut. Uh, I've seen the pictures. <coughs> he looks good but he's going to have a hard time getting top mm. five here. Because mm. this show, Ron, this is a lot of competitors, man. Yeah. Yeah. 25 guys in open? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, top six I've would heard, be a win. I, I, top six would be a win. And I know who most of them are, which is rare. So. That, that, then, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Ron, you'll see a lineup. Come on, now. Come on now. You're the no, expert. Some, some of these European shows, if there's like 20 guys in the lineup, it'll be... You know, if it's in Finland, there'll be like five guys from Finland and I've never heard of them before. Yeah. Something like that. I don't think Finland, uh, but yeah. Josh Wade, who is a... This Finland. guy will not stop until he gets the points for the Olympia. And mm. He's like he's like a pit bull. He's coming too. Uh, always in great shape. I saw him in Toronto. I saw him in New York. He'll just keep doing shows and showing up ripped until he until he has his Olympia points. Top, um, what placings did he get in Toronto? He got third? Fourth. Uh... Fourth, I believe. Fifth, fourth. Yeah, he's pretty he much fourth. Always, he's always yeah. in the top three. He top plays five. just behind that uh, the guy you, from Canada, Seaman. Joe Seaman. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. you just third interviewed. Place. So oh, I yeah. be- was Joe third? Then Josh must have been fourth. Yes. No, uh, uh, Joe Seaman was Joe fourth. Was fourth. Okay. And Wade was third. Hmm. Oh, Wade was third, right? Yeah. And Wade so. got third behind De La Rosa and no Patrick Moore and Team Budensheim in mm-hmm. uh, where was it again? John, the uh, Patrick Moore just won California Pro, California. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we got Josh Wade. Where do you have him? Josh Wade. Oh, he's going to be in condition. That's for sure. Well, he's he's yeah, he's going to be top six, isn't he? He's going to be. The thing six. is, it's like there's so many good names, there's so many good physiques in the show. Um, I mean, I've I've not had Josh Wade in the. He's kind of proved me wrong every single show he's done. He's been mm. up there. He's not, and he. Uh, you can always. Thing is, you can never count out the guys that are always going to be in condition. So you could get arguably bigger names than him or bigger structure better structures but if they're not bringing the same condition that you know he's going to bring then it's yeah. uh yeah he's, he's oh, yeah he's he's, he's not going to get like a like a tenth or anything you know he's always like going to be top somebody five, like a samson if samson had that crazy condition yeah no disrespect to josh but josh would, wouldn't be able to beat him no he's just no. got yep. structure and shape that josh yep. doesn't have but josh has carries a lot of muscle and he, he gets in this dorian type of condition yeah so I think he's going to be somewhere fourth, fifth, sixth at worst. Yep. But I, I think fourth, fifth is legit for him. Uh, last guy in the open we'll mention is Eddie Bracamontes because he's a uh, he's a new guy. He's on the rise. Yeah, he's doing very good lately. And, uh, he's been he's been getting grabbing some good spots lately. So mm. he'll uh, he's probably going to be in first call out. It's a lot of prep. It it's a long prep. There's a lot of what about Essa Ubiad? You're not feeling him at all, or? I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. Yeah, let's talk. We should mention him. That's. Yes. You're right. We should definitely mention Essa Obaid. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, last show was he did Arnold Brazil. Mm-hmm. Yes. He did another show recently, and it's just he doesn't have that that same look to me. The same pop to the yeah. full pop to the muscles and the it's the condition. It's just not the same physique that I remember from years ago when he was really killing it. 
maybe he just needs more shows. I don't know. And maybe he needs to just, um, he might look better, you know, from, from doing a few more shows back in, uh, back in the swing of things. We just yeah. got a picture from Jeff Beckham. Mm -hmm. he's, oh, yeah. uh, he's in better condition. Yeah. Well, that last show. <laughs> <It's not hard. laughs> Is Jeff doing it? Because he's not on the list. Is yeah, he doing the show? He's doing it, the show. Okay. He great. posted a picture that was 291 pounds two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, that, that number worries me, but I guess he knows, <laughs> yeah. I guess he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Fabulous physique on him. I just, ah, I, great I, physique. Great I've yet voice. to see him. I, I want to see Jeff shredded one day. Just yeah. shredded. Me too. Me too. It would be an amazing 100%. sight to see. Yeah, he's first caller in every show. Oh, right? in every show. Yeah. But let's see. Okay, 212 division. Uh, one man who was on the list, but I confirmed with Hide Yamagishi he is not doing the show. Mm. So that leaves it open for a few more guys to win because I think had Hide showed up in shape, it probably would have been his show for the 212. Uh, but let's look at some of the guys who are most likely going to win. First up, Canada's Zane Watson is coming back. Mm -hmm. yes. This is his first show of the season since last year's Olympia. Um, you know, I just interviewed him actually for a run line. Okay. And, uh, the condition is insane. He's kept his weight down. Uh, so he's not going to have to struggle and to pull down to 212, mm. which hurt. It hurts a lot of these guys when they have to do that, especially when they don't have much time to fill back out. Uh, and, and in this case, the weigh-ins are, it's like less than 24 hours between weigh-ins and when they go on stage. Mm. So, uh, Zane, Zane's going to be in there in the mix. AJ, what do you think about Zane Watson? Uh, I got two people for the win. I got he's one of them. He's my his dad sadly passed away. Yeah. Uh yeah. I think that maybe motivated him maybe even more maybe. Mm. Uh, you just said he's in con amazing condition. Yeah. Uh, posting doesn't count of course in the point system, but he's got best one of the best posting in the entire world. Yeah. Uh the way you said he kept his weight uh, cuz he had a problem getting down, but now he's kept his weight lower. Yeah, it's, it's sounding. Re I'll put my money on him and another person for the win. Okay, so what about you, Giles? The what do you think? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I uh, yeah, Zane. I'm, I'm trying to think now. I'm looking. I'm just. I'm looking at the list now. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I think he. Uh, not not he. Dates, obviously not doing it. Zane, I mean. Yeah, yeah, Zane. Yeah. There are no. There are no Olympia. You know, top Olympia two twelve guys doing the show. No, it's not. So it, it's pretty open. My other pick for the win. Uh, it comes down to two guys. And yes, let's see who you got. I like. I, I'm. I'm. I'm friends with both of them, so I don't want to get the other one mad at me. But forget uh, about De that. Dectric Lewis, who uh, was a Kevin Leveroni protege. Okay. He just he just took second at the Puerto Rico Pro a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He's coming for this show. Okay. Looks really good. Massive upper body. Legs are way up. Uh, I give this guy a lot of credit because I told, you know, he he would solicited me for criticism last year, and I said. Your legs, dude, your legs are just not, yeah, mm, yeah. They, they don't match the upper body. So he went to work twice a week hitting them, and, and they're up a lot since last year. You've seen it. He, Have you seen it, or has I told you that they're up? No, I've seen it. Cause okay. I, saw him, I saw the picture from Puerto Rico. Because he was in Tampa last year, and he got, like, third call out. Okay. He was, it was, it was his, that was his debut, and he was, he was pretty upset. But, Second uh, place in his debut is pretty impressive, though. Well, no, the Tampa last year, oh, okay. I guess we, he can pretend Tampa didn't happen, but it, that was his actual debut. But this year he got second to uh, not Hide. Who won the Puerto Rico 212? Eduardo Correa. Eduardo Correa. So, yeah, second to Eduardo is not, not bad. No. He's pretty damn great. Uh, Dectric and the other guy that uh, I'm looking forward to possibly winning, Derek Oslin from Tampa. Very good. Uh, That's the we person met. we talk about. Yeah. Yeah, we met. We've met Derek before, and I think you guys have had him on too, right? On GMR, yes, we just had him on. Uh, been working hard. He's got a new gym. He opened up. Uh, I, I like Derek a lot. He's just like a, he's a nerd who became a bodybuilder. You know, kind of <laughs> like me. Yeah. Uh, in excellent like, shape. We just saw him guest uh, posing with Hideo Magishi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he looked incredible next to Hideo Magishi. Shape is fantastic. Yeah. He's brought up his uh, what did he say? His upper body. Was that what he said? Mm. Charles? Yes, he did, yep. Yes, uh, he's, he's prepped by Matt, Matt Jensen. Yep. Mm -hmm. So he's going in for the win. With, uh, but we have one guy you, haven't, you forgot to talk about. Who's that, Ron? Come on now. Uh, we got Lloyd Dollar. We no, got no, 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 no. Some big, a big name. It's not on the list. Nope. Guy Sistanino is doing the show. Yeah, he's, he's not on the list. Yeah. But he's doing the show. You gotta, <laughs> okay. Guy Sistanino is doing the show. Okay, there's a winner then. Well, I'm not sure if he's the winner, but he's definitely <laughs> going to be in the mix. He's also. definitely going to 
if he doesn't win, he's going to be pushing the winner. Uh, yeah. Guy's very, very good. He's he's a I, warrior. The last thing I heard, well, I mean, about a year ago, he said he was his career was over because his shoulders were completely destroyed. Right. And then next thing I heard, he was training and looking big again, and everything was going great. So I, I think he had them both replaced. Repacking. He had double. He did have. He had surgery on both shoulders. I know that. So. And then he. I, yeah, well, the, normally that would be it. You're done. What? You're done. But... How would you recover from that so quickly? Garcia Serino's got the warrior mentality. He can go through anything He's, and come back. Yeah. He is a pit bull terrier. That's uh, how. Yeah. <laughs> Another name you've not mentioned. There's two names. Um, Eric Ramirez. Isn't that the open guy? Uh, Eric Ramirez is a 212 guy from New Jersey. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking. Well, I'm thinking of another Ramirez, the the guy with the beard, yeah. the Blackstone guy. No, yeah, uh, that that, that's that, him. That's, that's him. him. Oh, he's open. Eric's got a beard. He's, he's open. He's... No, he's open. Mm. He's an open guy. He's been doing open shows. Has he? Okay. A really vascular guy. Really. Yeah. yeah right. He's... Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's open. Guy. Not wonder... sure which division he's doing, but yes. Well, he's doing 212 uh, here. Yeah. So. So who do you have in the 212 then? Uh, hang on, hang on. You've also forgotten Steve Bentham from Germany. Very, very good. He took second in the, in the EVL Prague. Uh, the two worst. Years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Bentham's so Steve... very, very impressive. He's Steve good... Benton will be first call out. I can't believe from, I forgot. From Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's always yeah. good. But he had Very some good. bad play. Didn't he? He had some bad placings coming yeah. into the show, though. I've seen, yeah, sometimes he turns up with a stomach. Sometimes he doesn't. I think it's all to do with his carb up and his prep. But, uh, yeah, he's good. He looked, he's... he looked great in New York. I remember him from a few weeks ago in New York. Yeah. Very impressive. He was fifth so, in New York, was he? Fifth or sixth? Something like that. Some yeah, point yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get him conf- I know I shouldn't. Steve's the one. He's bald and he's got a beard. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Just I, the funny Instagram I, videos. Budesheim, I confused. I don't know why, because <laughs> yeah. they're both German, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, guess I can... So who do you have in the 212 then, Ron? Oh, let's see. So now we got your Guy top three? Steve Benton. Mm. Can I do no particular order? Yes. Or am I going to piss everyone off? I don't want off? to get people crying. Oh. Okay, if Guy, <laughs> if Guy Sisternino is at his best, I probably would have him winning. Uh, I would have Prizane in second. Steve Benton maybe in third, Dectric and Derek Oslin, uh, fourth, fifth. But it could go, it could go any way. It depends on, just depends on who brings it, who's sharp, who's, who doesn't uh, flatten out, who doesn't spill over. They're all very, very good. They're all. None of them are going to dominate the other ones. It's, it's not going to be mm. one guy blowing everybody away. Mm. And that's usually the way it is, unless it's Flex Lewis at the Olympia. That's pretty much how all these two twelve shows are. Yeah. It's usually a battle yes. with the top five. They're very, very close. That, that's why a lot of people like 212 more than the Open. Mm-hmm. It's, it's more exciting to watch in that, in that respect. Is it really, though? I'm mm. not sure why people keep on saying that. Because <laughs> they're, they're 212 fans. Okay. <laughs> Two- <laughs> uh, AJ, your top five, uh, 212? G- Watson, Guy Sistanino, Derek Oslin. That's my top three. Mm-hmm. Okay, Whoever, I'm not sure who's going to win because we haven't seen the pictures, but I got those right. three fighting each other. Right. And I'll be, I'm happy to see Guy Cicerino back. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested to see because the pictures, he looks like he never skipped a beat. Mm. You wouldn't know that he probably wasn't able to touch a weight for six months. Mm. Who's your top three? Or more. Uh, Zane Watson for the win. Uh, I think De- Derek Oslin second. Guy sure. Sistinino third, uh, Benthin fourth, and I Lloyd Dollar. That last last show I saw him do, he was quite impressive. He was he looked yeah. good. So maybe he'll squeeze in the top five. And uh, um, I, I mentioned this guy Caleb Blanchard because I I forget all about him, but then I realized he took second place last year okay. at this show. Okay. Very balanced, very complete physique. It's just you know. You never heard of him, right? You never I, heard of him. I, sh- I should have heard of him. So that's because he doesn't. My he's mistake. not. He doesn't get himself out there. Maybe I'll have to get him on a run line or something. Yeah, do that. Do that. But you're open, Ron. Let me hear your top four for the open. Oh boy. Okay. You know, we didn't we didn't miss any. There's no surprise entries, right? We we, we covered no, everybody. We covered everybody. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go Griffin, Lockett, mm, Oslidel for top three. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, Charles? Charles Griffin first. Lockett second. Uh, who did you have in? Who do I have in third? Um, sorry, who? Did, oh, uh, Lucas, third. Mm. I would have Rodriguez, fourth. Yeah. Um, I think Samson will squeeze in the top five. 
And I think sixth will be, uh, I think Sibu Sisu might do it. I think he might squeeze in the top six. And then uh, right. top six, uh, six will be a battle with uh, Josh and Samson. And then Bracamonte's uh, seventh, eighth. Okay. Well, some of these guys are going to be very, very angry. They'll confront me at the show. And I'll say, dude, dude, relax. We're just making, you know, we're just making our prediction. The nature we, of the beast, I'm afraid. <laughs> you, especially if they win, they go, ha, you didn't think I would win. I'm like, dude, we, you, until I see everyone on stage, none of this whole conversation we just had, totally meaningless. Yeah. Until, until And, you know, the Olympia is going to be ridiculous with the predictions hmm. everyone everyone their grandmother is going to do these prediction videos for olympia will do one but until you get there until these guys walk out you don't know you don't so, know what happened I, th- I think what you mean to say is we're not rooting against anyone yes so if so if we say so and so gets fifth and then they win it well like that like kind of sean roden did you know yeah, yeah. it's like it doesn't mean you know i, I well I, I don't even feel like i have to explain that really. i got charles griffin in first Lockett yeah. in second, Ustadil yeah. in third. Same. Josh Wade in fourth. Okay. And yeah. Samson Dowd out fifth. Yeah. I the phrase they... I think we, the phrase we're looking for is, I have no horse in this race. I'm not betting on anybody. We love everybody. We're 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 fans of the sport. We support everyone. We want them all to win, but only one guy can win second, third, fourth. The judges. That's what the judges do is sort them out. So neither of you got Rodriguez in the top five. Not me. Oh. No, he's looking. Good. If he shows up, yeah, if yeah. he shows up, bang on, absolutely. But he absolutely. he tends to fade as the shows get on. You get like people like Valier and they, they, you know some some pros they get better as they go along. Charles Griffin, the more shows he does, the better he gets. But I fact from what based upon what I've seen in previous years, he usually starts the season strong and then fades. So uh, uh, yeah, so possibly. I just not, don't so. think. I just think Josh Wade's going to be in condition. I think they will reward him for consistency. The judges have seen him all through the season, yeah. and I don't see him out of the top five, no. And he'll be in condition. And he'll be yeah, in yeah, condition, yeah, otherwise he won't do the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I give a shout out in female physique. We just had uh, Patricia Pat- Goslin. Patricia Goslin. Yeah, from Canada. She looked incredible condition, Ron. Yeah, really yeah, good yeah. physique. She was a uh, very, very, very close second up in Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah. So we have her and Mishna. What's her name? Valentina Mishina. Valentina Mishina wow. got second. In the, um, uh, the last the show, Omaha, Omaha, Omaha Pro. Or Toronto? No, yeah. So we got them two fighting for the female physique title. And we also have Autumn Swanson, the wife of Brent Swanson, who Correct. does a great job with Maximum Muscle Report, one of the other media outlets. <laughs> but uh, Autumn, when she's when she's in great shape, you know, she's deadly too. She'll, okay. she'll be in. Autumn she'll won the Arnold Classic. Was it three in 2016 she won the Arnold Classic or 2017? Yeah. She won the Arnold yeah. Classic. And these are like 30 girls in, in these uh, class. In female physique. Women's physique, yeah. not seventeen, because I was uh, Danny Costello. Sixteen, then she won the she yeah, won 16. the Arnold Classic, and she's that long been, ago. Jeez. Yeah, she's also um, she always makes top ten at the Olympia. I believe she's made top six at the Olympia. But the photos I saw from there was a show last weekend. What was it? The last weekend. Well, I've literally just she's gone up on MD. Okay. She took sixth yeah. place in that show, and she she's good? no, she's not at best. Mm. Oh, okay, nowhere near like she was when she won the Arnold. Her legs were down. Maybe it was just a matter of she needs to push the condition, but she's not going to gain that condition in a week. Oh, okay. so I don't, I don't see her being a threat for the for this win. Okay, but she is well, very wanna, good. She's very good. She's. I want to remind everyone we're going to be doing coverage two days straight on musculardevelopment.com and on our YouTube channel. We're doing. I'll be there doing play by play. Hector Mendoza is going to be my good, uh, good. right-hand care man. He's got his uh, assistant Consuelo helping out. So the divisions for this show, fitness, women's physique, men's physique, wow. classic physique, bikini. 212, women's bodybuilding, figure, bikini, and, of course, Jesus. open men's bodybuilding. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of... Uh, Tim Gardner putting in the work. I, want, I hope he's got a good team of organizational people because his shows are so good, and they've got yeah. so many competitors. So I mean... I, I, I'm sure Tim Gardner must have the record, unless apart from the Arnold Classic, for the most amount of competitors, pro competitors. Last, last year's Tampa set the record for most pros in one show. It was like 312. Whoa! But are there no uh, top names in the men's physique or uh, female bodybuilding or bikini? Uh, I, I, I can't see. I remember none I of the I've names. Got, I've got the list Because I don't see no big names in none of the class. Alicia Young in female bodybuilding. I heard her name. But I don't see the, the bikini men's f- There's no of the big guys doing it. Uh, I saw Ferguson, not Andre, but Michael no. Ferguson. No, no, he's not another one. You know, um, Andre Ferguson's not doing this. 
Yeah. No, Michael Ferguson. No relation. But uh, I heard about his name. Seems to be a lot of new faces. There a lot of new names. Names yeah. I'm not familiar with. Same so. thing. Same thing with classic. It's a good. It's a big lineup. But I've only really recognized a couple of the names. Yes. Um, well, we get some new talents coming out then. Mina still going What's in the it? fitness. Mina in fitness. Yeah. Pujolati Pujolati. from Finland. We're replacing Justin Bean as we as we expect. Every yeah. every time we have a, a lineup like that where there's no big names, it does give a chance for yes. someone who's really good who's sort of been overlooked. Yeah, yeah. This is like their time to shine, and finally we'll say. Oh, this guy's good. He just won Chicago Pro. So we well, need a proper bikini thread from you now, Ron. I've, <laughs> I've seen some, like, have you seen some of the new women's physique girls that are coming through? The girl that came first and third at that show the weekend, uh, the black girl, what was her name? She's fantastic. In third place, yeah. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there's a lot of new faces, but not just new faces, but really good physiques. Yeah. yeah. So coming through from all these different places around the world where they're getting pro cards. So Like the guy Dankova who just won Classic. We didn't know yeah, so I like to see... I like to see shows sometimes when all the net you don't recognize any of the names because then you get really surprised when you see the pitches and you're like, wow, they're really good, you know? So it's great. Try it. We'll give them some publicity, get them some pictures and videos and interviews, and we'll get some of these new people. You know, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it so that you will know who they are yeah. very soon. Try like to get guys... some people who impresses you, Ron. You don't. You don't know them from before. Try to get an interview with them at the show. Who, who impresses oh, I will. you? I will. I'm gonna yeah. get a ton. I'm gonna get a ton of interviews. You know, luckily we have. Uh, Hector's got an assistant, so that oh, makes good, things good, easier. Good, good, yeah. So she can have a video camera set up, so yeah. I can just run back and forth, mm. do my usual thing. Yeah, and uh, that's it. I don't want to spend too much more time on this because people have short attention spans. Also, my Shih Tzu is ready to be picked up from her uh, haircut. So <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else then. Shih Tzu? No, that's a man's dog. Yeah. But uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Giles. Thank you, Chris Clark. Mm -hmm. Pump Media Studios doing a great job with all your projects. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to remind everyone, the coverage of this event begins Friday morning at 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? Yeah. Cool. It goes all day, all night Friday, all day, all night Saturday. So it's the so, show, the pro shows are on Friday and Saturday, correct? And they have a huge NPC show with it as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great, <laughs> great. Nice. <laughs> Good times. So all the coverage from Chicago. Please, guys. MuscularDevelopment.com, Noble Forum. We're going to have all kinds of stuff. Paparazzi pictures, interviews, play-by-play, -play, posing video, all kinds of stuff. Just check it out. And uh, that'll do it for this Ron Line Report, Chicago Pro Preview 2019. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there.